Welcome everybody to my next Let's Play called Serpent Resurrection by the Ultimate Doomer. This is my second Let's Play. Here I'm going to be starting off by selecting um, Harrion and I'm going to begin the uh, heroic skill that's skill number five. Warning, this setting is for experts only. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Starting at the Lestern Harbor. Yep. You can see I'm um, playing as uh, Harrion with the, uh, the silver cape. Now, in the previous Serpent, in the previous version of Serpent Resurrection, you only have three roles. But in this version, you have unlimited roles. You can you can use this chain switch to select your roles whenever you want. So I'm going to start off with a decent amount of dexterity. I think that'll be. I think. I think that's enough strength and dexterity for now on. So let's get going. Kingdom of Durinor. City of Leicester. Royal Palace. Greetings, Harry. You wish to see me, Your Highness? Yes, there is trouble brewing on the island of Caldera. I've sent Bainden out there on a fortnight ago and heard nothing since. Ah, yes, the great adventurer. And as a fine adventurer like yourself, I'm sending you out on his footsteps. I would be honored to take such a quest, Your Highness. The bookcase in the northwest antechamber hides a secret passage. After that, make your way to the Thunder Child. She should be ready to set sail. I've placed a man on board who will explain more about the quest. I shall leave immediately, Your Highness. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you, Your Highness. If you get stuck anywhere, don't forget the uh, help features. See the text file for details. Now, starting this um, uh, Let's Play, I'm going to begin a lot of uh, strategies, and I'm going to begin everything through this. Welcome to Serpent Resurrection by the Ultimate Doomer. Read the text file for important game te details, if you haven't already done so. Hmm, I could use some more gold before I set sail. To skip the intro, press jump, press jump and crotch together during it. No special, no special features for this character. So I'm playing, um... Uh, Skill 5, or 4, whatever you call it. Now, here's my uh, first enemy to select, is... I'm gonna turn the music down. Turn the music down. Okay, there we go. Now, today we're going to be exploring the uh, town of Lestern. There are some thugs that we encounter, like this one. I'm going to be exploring the whole. Uh, I'm going to be exploring the whole town. Now, let's see. There's a thug right here. Let's go in this building right here. There's something that I want to pick up. It's just a pawn. Now here is a magic ring. The magic ring is for when you use it, it'll it'll actually gain back uh, some magic XP, some magic for you to use your scrolls. Let's go in this building right here, and here we get a power scroll. Unlike the Tomb of Power from Heretic, when you activate the Power Scroll, it, it enhances your beginner weapon. 
It enhances your beginner weapon. So I bound uh, my I bound my item using to uh, F. So let's try out that let's try out that scroll. It goes like this. See? <laughs> Freezes a uh, thug right here. It's pretty cool. Unlike the uh, Mystic Staff from uh, Heretic, let's go inside this, uh, oh yeah, the City Gal. There are some bulletins for us to read right here, so let's see. There have been a lot of thieves and thugs roaming the streets recently. Be vigilant when walking the back streets of allies in your particular alleys. I meant to say that. I don't want to screw up the commentary, so here's another bulletin board we can read on the wall. Information leading to capture of S. Ridley, the notorious master thief. He has stolen lots of things and must be caught. 100 gold reward. Oh yeah, let's go in this jail right here. There's uh, another magic ring. Oh, and there's a thug. Maybe we could just kill him. Maybe we can kill this thug right here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we can. I nearly forgot. You can. You can attack through the bars. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> now here is the leveling up mechanism. You gain experience from killing an enemy, and you level up. There are more buildings that we need to uh, explore, so let's go around and see. Now here... See, this building right here. Jump boots. Now the jump boots, those are the green boots of speed. When you when you use the jump boots, you jump high. Works wonders when you're actually going into those uh, those secrets right here. Now we're gonna go around this whole town. We're gonna explore it. Oh, there's another building that I want to check out. There's a thug blocking away, so I'm gonna hit him. This mystic spear works wonders for me. Unlike the, uh, unlike the cleric's mace. Oh yeah, more of these uh, bulletins right here. The gauntlet is back. Fancy a challenge of speed and agility, plus a chance to win 125 gold. I'm not gonna run the gauntlet yet. I'm just gonna explore the whole town and find some buildings. But just some candles get a potion of life or maybe a quartz flask, whatever you want to call it. And yet, we get another power scroll. Oh, and another special thing when we start playing as a uh, Harrion is you get two time bombs of the ancients. Oh, there's another thug I want to kill. Yeah. Get a bag of gold right here. Alright. Got 67 right here. Let me see what we can Oh, this is people in the way. Warehouse number one. Warehouse number one. So this is where we're going. Oh yes, when I watched a serious Caco Demon video, um, I realized in the previews version of Serpent Resurrection, the thugs wore all black coating. Now the time bomb of the ancients is very useful, unlike the uh, one from uh, Heretic. More explosion radius, which is very perfect. Let's go in this unnamed building and we get a disc of repulsion. Now this disc of repulsion, when you use it, it blocks your enemies back. Warehouse number two. Here's what we're going to do. Get a poison vial. Unlike the uh, 
poison vial from the original he from the original Hexen, excuse me. Using a poison vial creates a gas bomb. It could just choke your because you just choke the life out of your enemies. I'm gonna explore this uh oh, what was it called again? I forgot to read it. It's called a dry dock. Dry dock number two. We get another pair of jump boots. Excellent. Those two hammers. They look like hammers of retribution. <laughs> now first, we're going to um, check out the shops. Here's the magic shop. We've got everything inside. We got um, we got mana batteries. We got the crater of might, and we got all the scrolls right here. Now. If you do realize, I'm going to check something out right here. Now, here is your uh, list of scrolls right here. Now, now apparently Anvar, Braxis, Quinfer, Kamada ha can't use most of the scrolls. Darahu can't use any of the scrolls. Since we're playing as Harrion, we can use any scroll we want, but we'll have to get as much as our magic levels up to use more of the greater scrolls. Harrion's uh, magic level limit is 20, while Salazar's uh, magic level limit is 40. Salazar has the uh, highest magic level, while Harrion is half everything. Oh yes, and I nearly forgot, magic rings. Restore your magic when using them as well. So, since we're playing as uh, Harrion, we can do whatever we want with everything, we can use those scrolls. And now, item shop right here is where we're going here. Now, item shop is everything that we can buy right here, so I think I'm gonna buy another Potion of Life for now. Potion of Life bought, yep. Now, here, now here is the list of items. All the items except the Potion of Excellence, you can buy most of the items you want, they cost money. But, if you want to obtain a Potion of Excellence, then you're going to have to explore the entire journey whenever you can. Find some secrets and whatnot. Mana batteries, I always thought they were items, but they're just magic symbols, to be honest. So, here, we're going to move out through our um, next shop, that's the armor shop right here. Now the armor shop, wonder where the armor is, armor, yes, armor, here's everything. Now, now Harrion can't wear three of the armor pieces, the chain plate, the, uh, the platinum helmet, and the plate braces, can't, we can't use those as Harrion. Unlike the, uh, the falcon shield, which is the most, kind of like the strongest armor in the original Hexen. Brick of Brack. Let's go in here. There's just a bunch of, uh, oh yeah, look at all these, uh, look at all these, look at all those pots. Now, for food and drink, that's everything. Mm, not anything, just a bunch of weird stuff. Lightning, that's not a thing. Now the Salty Sailor. We can gamble here as well. I should try gambling to raise some gold. That bloke in the corner there looks like a game. Now, playing where Braxis and Kamada cannot gamble because they can't. Now, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna 
gonna s I'm gonna save. Stupid ass. I was trying to learn all the key finds. Sorry. I'm just gonna save up. I'm just gonna save up if anything goes wrong. Alright. There we go. There we go. Now, we can gamble right here. The stake is 50 gold. We don't have enough. We don't have enough money, so we're gonna have to um, go right here. Here, the gauntlet will run the gauntlet today. I'm just trying to find where it is. There it is, right here. Yep. Here it is. Now, the gauntlet. Now, here, decent amount of armor. Anvar and Darahu cannot use the gauntlet because they're too heavy for it. I mean,. Just because, and since we're playing as Harry, and we can do this. Okay, step up to the platform, and away you go. Alright, so, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save, right here. Now, I tried this before, I had to watch my step, so... Uh, oh yes, this is pretty easy. This is pretty easy. Shoot, I failed. Damn. Shoot, I failed. Ugh. Alright. Shoot, failed. Damn it. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. The first time I tried this, I... I did not fail this. Oh, we did it. I've made it. I get the 125 cash. Nice. I think I can try gambling, so... Yeah. All right, all right, the Salty Sailor, that's what we're going to. I'm going to save up just in case. Okay, simple rules. Three throws each, highest total wins 50 gold. Okay, let's play. You pick up the dice and roll two and a one. He picks up the dice and... Rolls a two and a four. You pick up the dice, and you roll a six and a five. Hmm. He picks up the dice, and he rolls a two and a five. You pick up the dice. I think we can win this. Roll four and a five. I don't think I can, I don't think I can win this. Come on, we can do this. Okay. So you win 50. Alright. If you want to play again, come back to the table. I don't think I can come back here for now, so I'm gonna explore the rest of the, uh, the village, and we're going to be on our way. Alright. Oh yes, hang on a second. Is there something that we can go to? Oh yeah, let me go to that. Let me go to that secret. Right. Oh, warehouse number three. Oh, we can't open that. What about warehouse four? Oh yes, we can go there. 
and the disc of repulsion, and all those barrels. We got the boots of jumping, so let's activate those. Oh shoot. I nearly forgot I had to push a barrel right here. Um, alright, is that good? Oh, no it's not. It's, no it's not. Okay, alright. Oh, shit. Shit, I don't have enough dexterity. Oh no, I don't have enough dexterity. Uh, damn! This ain't. This ain't gonna do right. There we go. Got it. Got a bag of gold, and we get a fear scroll. Now, what the fear scroll does is that when you activate it, when you activate the fear scroll, it chases most of your enemies away. Well, in a decent amount of time, that is. So we're gonna get, we're gonna explore another secret. We're gonna go into. All right, we haven't got to dry dock number one. So I'm gonna find a building that has a secret. Now I'm trying to find where I'm supposed to go. Okay, going down here where I know right there's this. There's this building, again, a time bomb ancient. What I'm trying to do is, um, trying to find that. Let's see. You know what? I've already went to all the other warehouses, so let's. Nope. Let's go down. Um, let's find where we're supposed to go. I'm trying to find that secret. Let's see. Is there a secret? No. I'm trying to find a secret. Oh yeah, can't go into warehouse three. Let me see. No way I'm gonna go into Oh, it's not here. Oh, it's a huge amount of boxes. Trying to find that secret. You know what? Bear with me, guys. I'm gonna find that secret, and if I don't, I'm not gonna be able to see what I'm supposed to do around here. A few moments later. Ah, yes, I found it. It's right by the city gal, or city jail, whatever you wanna call. It's inside uh, here, warehouse number five. I think that's called. So let's go and use those jump boots. Jump boots, sorry. I think I can get to there, yeah. There we go. And here we get a secret bag of gold right here. 
and we get a bulletin, which is on the floor right here. Long, S. Ridley, Master Thief. I've managed to stash all of the rum and spice in the boxes up here. I've banned all the people in from the building. I've banned all the people from the building so no one can get in. And I will use the window to leave. That should keep it safe for them. So this means the Master Thief, he must have prohibited everybody from going inside this building. Maybe one day, we will get ready to find the Master Thief and kick his ass. Hey, um, does anyone know what Bobby Fletcher says about S. Ridley? Let's, uh, go to our reports for what she says. My pit crew isn't even that fast. What's your name, sport? Lana Loud. Well, thank you, Lana Loud. Give me a call when you're 18. I could use someone like you. To kill the master thief. Wow, thanks! Oh, yes! It was just a little YouTube group scene from, uh, Snow Way Out. And last but not least, um, here what we do is, we're going right here. This guy. Okay, I need all these barrels put on board in the right pens. Six in each one and close the door afterwards. Don't leave while the job is off. I have no time for shirkers. Okay. Oh god, this is gonna be the slowest and most boring job ever. I'm gonna have to speed this up. everything. Thanks for the gold and HEY! You didn't help me! Why didn't you help me, you lazy dumbass? You lazy asshole! You know what? God damn you! You could have helped me with the job, you lazy dumbass! Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna rage quit from this, cause that was like the most boring thing I've ever done in my life. Anyways, the, the harbor job is too... Salazar and Quenfer can't work at the harbor because they're too weak. So, I think that's everything, and if you think that I'm missing anything, let me know. And I think that will be it for the exploration of the Lestern Harbor. Next part, we will get ready and board the Thunder Child and arrive at the island of Caldera. This is Ron Livingstone signing off, and have a nice and fabulous day. <laughs>